Hi, this is Bob with Gibbs RV, and today we're looking at a 1995 Coachman Leprechaun 290 Class C motorhome. Less than 22,000 miles on this coach, and it drives like a dream. We're selling it as, as is. It is a fixer-upper. It's got a few issues. You can see it's got a cracked front window. You can get a good look up above the Coachman logo there. Uh, the Ford chassis parts in great shape. I mean, you got wheel simulators, good tires, ton of storage. I mean, there's a generator compartment, no generator. It has lockable compartments. Pull out drawer here is a metal, like a work tray drawers that pull out, lock into place, and the door itself also locks. Basement storage, glorious. There's central plumbing. Uh, your outside plumbing, dump valves, water intake, all in one spot. The back side here. Hit something here. Uh, and you can also tell inside where this, whatever did hit in. It's been pulled out again, but um, there's another pull tray underneath here. Our bed is located in the back. Got a roof rack and ladder. Ladder's got a little bit of a wowie to it. And here's some of the other damage on the bottom. This really doesn't affect the interior of the coach so much as the exterior, but this would probably, I don't know, might even have a little rot going in with some of the phylon here. Additional storage, there you can see additional damage, probably backed up, scraped something almost full length with the back quarter here. Uh, it's got a big awning over the top. And yeah, look down the sides, no D-lamb. You know, it's, it's not like it's a big leaker, it's just had that damage back there uh, it's got additional basement storage even comes with some RV components you know accessories that sort of thing a little bit of tape on that awning might be a tear hard to say probably is inside yeah, kind of a glass shelf here it's kind of neat right where you walk in but um Got a pretty popular floor plan. Why I say that's got the jackknife sofa opposed from the booth dinette and the big windows on both sides. So no matter what side, if you got the lake, stream, river, you got a view. Great for RV recreation. Up front, two captain seats. 21,900 and some miles in this Ford chassis. It's got windows, locks, tilt, cruise, air, cassette player. Uh, the door to the center console needs the hinges replaced. Overhead sleeping berth, as we noticed, got the crack in the window. It's not leaking, so to speak, but uh, you can see it's cracked. It, it didn't look good. It needs to be fixed. Um, more storage in the sides. Of course, this piece comes out, you know, if you want to be able to, if you're tall and you're transporting from front to back. Galley layout on the side. There's a lot of overhead storage. Looks like we got some day-night shades. Window valances, all tie in the same color, three burner stove, oven, dual basin stainless steel sink, pantry storage, spice storage, place for the microwave to go, got a Norcold refrigerator freezer above me, air conditioning unit, down the hallway, first off, these were a laminated floor, okay, when they come delaminated, usually you'll associate that with a trampoline type effect. It's not rotted, it's just come separated. It's actually bowed up a little bit. When you step on it, you get a little bit of movement. Probably work fine. If you want to replace it, you can. It's depending on what kind of, what level the handyman wants to take this thing. Bathroom, we've got the toilet, linen storage, sink, vanity mirror. Directly across the hallway, you got your shower two-piece shower with power overhead exhaust fan. In the back, the most desirable full-size queen bed, walk around both sides, got a little hutch in the corner and above in the corner, great place for a second television, household closet style door, overhead storage, wardrobe on the sides. Remember we were outside, I mentioned you could see the integrity of the wall shows here. And wrinkled, that's a sign of water intrusion, so right by that window so there's been some water in the back end so I mean if you want to do a little fixing up here if you're handy have a heck of an RV we see these things going 12 to 15 thousand bucks especially one with low miles like this and 
and all the features. So it's Gibbs RV in Coos Bay, Oregon. 1-800-824-4388. See us on the web, www.gibbsrv.com. That's G-I-B-S-R-V.com. We're located in Coos Bay, Oregon, about 100 miles north of the California border off 101. Gibbs RV in Coos Bay. <laughs>